All right, I'm going to finish up uh, the chapter 7 sample problems with this problem, 73, and it's another power problem. Uh, straightforward as well. Really, it's, power is, is very straightforward. It's just the change in work with respect to time. It's the rate at which work is done. The only thing that can make it a little more tricky is if the work is not constant with uh, position. Um, or if we're, you know, so work is, a power is dw dt, but oftentimes work is, uh, has x in it, because work depends on position. And so getting the x and the t um, to work together can be tricky. In fact, there is an actual web assignment problem that you'll have to do doing that. Um, but I'll just give you a hint now. It's basically you need to use kinematics to link the two. Displacement and time are related by kinematics, at least if the um, force is constant, because kinematics only works for constant force. Don't forget that. Eba. Anyway, problem 73. So we got an elevator cab. So let's just draw the cab. Of course, it has a weight, Fg. And according to the problem, it's carrying the maximum load and itself. So that is a mass of 4,500 plus 1,800 times acceleration due to gravity, 9.8. And that's the weight. Now it's going up at a constant speed, so that means the upward force of tension from the cable is the same. So when we're doing power, which is really work divided by time because it's a constant force, Ft, we want the power of the tension force. So that's the work due to the tension force. So that's F tension times the distance it goes up divided by the time work is force times displacement for a constant force. And look at this, distance divided by time, that's a velocity, right? So if we're going at a constant velocity, or we could do the instantaneous, d, uh, dx dt. But anyway, so this becomes ft times v, ft times v, and that equals uh, Fg times T, V, which we never did figure this out. This, uh, well, I'm just going to write it all out. It's 4,500 plus 18. Oh, I just figured something out. When it doesn't write, I have to lift my pen up and put it back down, and it seems to write. That is another flaw in my tablet software. Yay! Um, and the speed that we're going at, given in the problem, is 3.8 meters per second. So yeah, the power, after all this, is two, 234,000, I really should be running this, 612 watts. But what are you going to do about it? That's it. Oh, short problem. Alright, bye-bye. See you in chapter 8.